You see, I'm the representation of 400 years little black and brown boys being told they'll never amount to nothing. See, I'm the representation of 400 years little black and brown boys being told they'll never amount to nothing. I'm Emmett Till get my face beat the size of a basketball because somebody said I whistled at a white lady. I'm four little girls in Birmingham being bombed and all I wanted to do was pray. I'm Dr. King giving my greatest speech and I know I'm going to die. I'm Malcolm X in the Audubon ballroom and the bullets are coming but I refuse to duck. I'm Kuta Kinte getting blood beat off my back and I refuse to call myself Toby. I'm struggle. As a white man, I have privileges that African American men don't have. In my interactions with police, in the way people respond to me. And if we are to be a just society, we have to work to eliminate those differences. Yep, we've been knocked down. And some of the things that you've heard about the city of Milwaukee has not been positive. But I'm going to tell you this for, for sure. We are getting back up. And whatever that opponent is on the other side, better be ready to rumble. Rumble, young man, rumble is a clarion call. And so when you hear that call, you can't help but to stand up and fight. Regardless of what the obstacles are, you know that you are there to rumble. And you know that you are there to win. And you have no other choice but to rumble young man rumble and i think that muhammad ali exemplified the the struggle that people must overcome especially black men and so what i hope our commitment here is tonight is not just to be here to celebrate and it's beautiful i mean it really is and, and to be amongst all of you all but we really have to mean what we say the beautiful thing about the rumble being in Milwaukee is, first of all, that the program felt good enough about the work that Jeff and others are doing to bring it to Milwaukee. But I think it's very, very important that we have these type of positive events for black boys and that it becomes a way to not only encourage them, but to give them examples of how you can succeed in life, why it's important to succeed in life, and to have them around talented, committed, successful black men and women so that they could see a pathway for their future. Um, to see those boys, to see their eyes light up when, when they saw really good things and, and to see them participate in the ways that the Rumble was organized. I just thought it was very effective and I felt we were very, very lucky to have it in the city of Milwaukee. After we ring this fight bell, we're going into training camp. Most people, when they think about a boxer, when they think about Muhammad Ali, they remember him in the ring. What they don't remember is all the work he put into becoming a champion. Rumble! Young man, rumble! Every day is a fight for me. Um, every day I have my sleeves rolled up fighting um, just to make sure that the plight um, and the promise of black men and boys in our community is, is heard, it's recognized, um, and it's integrated in every decision that people make, whether it's, uh, whether it's in the halls of City Hall or whether it's on the ground on the block with people that's doing the real organizing on the ground. Every day is a fight, um, and I, I have an opportunity, and I, the burden of the opportunity to be able to fight on all the different levels. Um, and at the, at the, the, the top of that fight is the fight for black men and boys. here in Milwaukee for black men and boys and, 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 and the black community as it is across the nation. There's no cavalry coming to save the day. That we are the iconic leaders we've been waiting for. The curators of the change we're seeking to see. 